What if there was a renewable energy source that could overshadow solar and wind power? Have you ever considered the potential of green hydrogen? Picture this, a world powered not solely by the sun's radiance or the gusts of wind, but by a colorless, odorless gas that's plentiful in our universe. That's right, we're talking about hydrogen. But not just any hydrogen, green hydrogen. Why green? Because it's produced in a way that releases no greenhouse gases, making it a truly sustainable energy source. But does it have a secret edge? Can it really outshine its more popular siblings in the renewable energy family, solar and wind? The answers to these questions may surprise you, as we explore the fascinating and perhaps untapped potential of green hydrogen. So buckle up, energy enthusiasts, as we embark on this enlightening journey. Let's delve into the world of green hydrogen to discover its secret edge. Green hydrogen, a rather unfamiliar term to many, holds a great promise for our energy future. If you're wondering what green hydrogen is, let's dive right in. Green hydrogen is a type of hydrogen gas that's produced in a way that significantly reduces greenhouse gas emissions. In essence, it's hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, produced with green credentials. But how exactly is it made, you may ask? The production method is a key factor that differentiates green hydrogen from other types of hydrogen. It's produced through a process called electrolysis, where electricity, ideally sourced from renewable energy like wind or solar power, is used to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. This process, when powered by renewable energy, results in zero greenhouse gas emissions, hence the green in green hydrogen. But why is it called green? The color coding of hydrogen isn't just a fancy marketing term, it's a simple way to differentiate between the types of hydrogen based on their production methods. Green hydrogen is produced using renewable energy, hence it's considered environmentally friendly. In contrast, gray hydrogen, the most common type of hydrogen produced today, is made from natural gas, releasing carbon dioxide in the process. Then there's blue hydrogen, made like gray, but with the carbon emissions captured and stored. Now I know what you're thinking. If green hydrogen is so green, why isn't it already powering everything? Well, the answer lies in the challenges of producing and storing it. It's not an easy task to produce green hydrogen efficiently and at scale, and storing it can be tricky due to its low density. However, with the urgent need to transition to low-carbon energy sources, green hydrogen is rapidly gaining attention. It offers an exciting opportunity to harness the power of hydrogen in a sustainable way and could play a crucial role in our energy future. Now that we understand what green hydrogen is, let's explore its secret edge. What sets green hydrogen apart from other renewable energy sources? What's its secret edge? Well, let's dive into the heart of the matter. Green hydrogen, unlike its counterparts, holds a trifecta of benefits that could revolutionize our energy landscape. These three key attributes are storage and transportability, versatility, and the potential to decarbonize a wide array of sectors. Firstly, let's talk about storage and transportability. Green hydrogen can be stored for long periods and transported over large distances, something that's a bit of a challenge for electricity generated from solar and wind energy. Our current infrastructure isn't really designed to store large amounts of electricity, which means we often need to use it as soon as it's produced. But with green hydrogen, we can store the energy it contains and transport it to where it's needed, when it's needed. Next, versatility. Green hydrogen is a bit of a jack of all trades. It can be used directly as a fuel, converted back into electricity, or used as a raw material in various industrial processes. This kind of flexibility gives green hydrogen a wide range of applications, from powering vehicles to heating homes and even producing steel. Finally, the potential for decarbonization. Green hydrogen could play a vital role in reducing our carbon footprint. It's produced by splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen using renewable energy, meaning its production is free from harmful emissions. What's more, when green hydrogen is used as a fuel, the only byproduct is water. This means that green hydrogen offers a way to use renewable energy in sectors that have traditionally been hard to decarbonize, such as shipping, aviation, and heavy industry. So there you have it. Storage and transportability, versatility, and the potential to decarbonize various sectors. These are the secret edges that green hydrogen holds over other forms of renewable energy. With these unique characteristics, green hydrogen seems to have an edge, but how does it compare to solar and wind energy? Solar and wind power have been at the forefront of the renewable energy race, but can green hydrogen outshine them? Now let's step back for a moment and consider the bigger picture. Solar and wind energy are certainly popular, but they are not without their limitations. Solar power, for instance, is dependent on daylight and clear weather conditions. 
Wind energy on the other hand is reliant on wind speeds which can be inconsistent. Additionally, both these power sources face the challenge of energy storage, especially during periods of low demand or overproduction. Enter green hydrogen. This promising energy source could potentially overcome these limitations. Unlike solar and wind, green hydrogen isn't dependent on weather conditions or daylight. It can be produced around the clock, and its energy can be stored easily for long periods, making it a reliable and flexible power source. Now let's talk about efficiency. Solar panels typically convert about 15 to 20 percent of the sun's energy into electricity. Wind turbines on the other hand can convert around 50 percent of the wind's kinetic energy into electrical power. Green hydrogen however has a lower efficiency rate. Only about 30 to 50 percent of the electricity used in the electrolysis process to create green hydrogen is stored in the hydrogen gas. But before you write off green hydrogen, remember this. It's not just about the raw efficiency numbers, it's also about the potential for storing and transporting energy. Solar and wind energy can be stored in batteries, but this storage method is expensive and has a limited capacity. Green hydrogen however can be stored in large quantities and for longer durations, offering a solution for the issue of intermittent renewable power supply. What about cost? At present, solar and wind power are cheaper than green hydrogen. But the costs of producing green hydrogen are expected to drop significantly in the coming years, thanks to advancements in technology and economies of scale. In fact, some experts predict that green hydrogen could become cost competitive with traditional fossil fuels within a decade. The environmental impact is another important factor to consider. Solar and wind power have minimal emissions but their production processes do have some environmental impact. The manufacturing of solar panels and wind turbines for instance requires significant energy and resources. Green hydrogen on the other hand has zero emissions when produced using renewable electricity and water. The only byproduct of its combustion is water vapor, which makes it a truly clean energy source. As we can see each energy source has its strengths and weaknesses, but the potential of green hydrogen is undeniable. So, can green hydrogen truly outshine solar and wind in the renewable energy race? Well let's take a step back and look at the big picture. We've been on quite a journey today, diving deep into the world of green hydrogen and its potential role in our renewable energy future. We've seen how green hydrogen, produced from water using renewable electricity, could offer a secret edge in the energy race. Unlike solar and wind energy, green hydrogen doesn't rely on the sun shining or the wind blowing. It can be produced around the clock, stored and transported with relative ease, and used in a variety of applications, from powering vehicles to heating homes and even producing steel. This flexibility is its secret edge and could make it an essential player in our transition to a carbon-free future. But as we've also seen, there are challenges. Green hydrogen is still more expensive to produce than other forms of renewable energy. And while the technology is improving rapidly, it's not quite there yet in terms of efficiency and scalability. However, with governments and corporations around the world investing heavily in green hydrogen, the tide is turning. The cost of producing green hydrogen is expected to have by 2030, making it competitive with other forms of renewable energy. As we look ahead, it's clear that green hydrogen is not just a theoretical concept, it's a reality that's gaining momentum. The question is not if, but when it will become a major player in our energy mix. And so, we find ourselves at the end of our journey, with perhaps more questions than answers. But that's the beauty of science and technology, it's always evolving, always surprising us. Only time will tell if green hydrogen will take the lead in the energy race. But one thing is clear, its potential is immense, and it's definitely a contender to watch.